there and he can remember a story, uh, our first uh, game in Jacksonville in 2002. Um, my son Eric was 10 years old and he came with me. They had a rule that you had to be 18 to be on the field. And so the security man came and said, you're going to have to take that young man off the field. And I said, boy, that would be a shame that we don't have a game today because if he goes, the rest of the team is going. <laughs> Tony Dungy, a successful black man, has earned the right to speak about issues in the black community. Dungy was undrafted out of the University of Minnesota, but yet he played for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the San Francisco 49ers. He then coached in the NFL for 28 years. He won a Super Bowl ring as a player with the Steelers and then as a head coach with the Indianapolis Colts. He was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame in 2016. In 1997, he started a charity called the All Pro Dad. All Pro Dad has 931 chapters across 48 states in America and in nine countries. In my eyes, that makes Tony Dungy an excellent fisher of men and an absolute authority on fatherhood, especially in the black community. All Pro Dad states that its mission is to help you love and lead your family well. On its website, it states in part, we're a group of people passionately committed to bringing intentional focus to fathers around the world. Our message will inspire you to embrace who you are, give you tenderness of heart, and boldness of character as a dad and a husband. There can't be anything wrong with that. It goes on to say that we're here to provide guidance and practical tips in raising your kids in a life-giving way. All Pro Dad is a family-first program. But as we know, putting your family in high regard, putting your family first, making your family a priority is not a cool thought. It doesn't fit with the narrative. Recently, Tony Dungy stood with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and a $70 million program was launched to promote fatherhood in the state of Florida. Here's what he said. Thank you, Speaker Sprouls. Thank you for this bill. First of all, uh, this is going to be tremendous and be such a big help to fathers in Florida, agencies that support fathers in Florida. But I, I want to thank you for your example. Bringing his girls out here today it just reminds me because this is kind of my field, and I used to bring my kids out here to, to work. And uh, it was something that was important, so they could see where dad is, be where, where dad is. And my good friend Clyde Christensen is over there, and he can remember a story, uh, our first uh, game in Jacksonville in 2002. Um, my son Eric was 10 years old, and he came with me. They had a rule that you had to be 18 to be on the field. And so the security man came and said, you're going to have to take that young man off the field. And I said, boy, that would be a shame that we don't have a game today because if he goes, the rest of the team is going. <laughs> the security guy looked at Clyde and said, he's not serious, is he? And Clyde said, yeah, I'm afraid he's pretty serious. So if you want to have a game, you better let his son stay out here. Um, that's an example. That, that's how important fatherhood is to me. I think uh, the governor just demonstrated that. Today. That's all it took. That's all it took. The mob immediately attacked and went nuts. How could a black man stand with Ron DeSantis and how dare he promote fatherhood and the strength of a family, especially since we can't even define what a woman is? When did it become a crime to defend fathers and promote a loving family? These people have lost their minds. They want to forever live in mental bondage. I'm not going to dignify these idiots and bother showing you what they were saying about Tony Dungy because they missed the message because it wasn't intended for them. But what I do find odd is someone said exactly the same thing a few years ago. And this someone is someone we know the nuts hold in very high regard. Listen to this. Strong, stable families means we should do more to promote marriage and encourage fatherhood. So many of the people on the left are complete hypocrites. And the ones who aren't, worse. They're just easily led by the mob. I congratulate Ron DeSantis and Tony Dungy for taking a stand for fathers and the family. Let me know what you think about this. You know no one on ESPN will even mention this effort. Even the black Reporters like Stephen A. Smith won't touch it. So please share this video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think 
about Tony Dungy promoting fatherhood in the black community. And if you'd like a good laugh, check out this video on the woke ESPN crowd and how they are just so far off base from Americans. It's not even funny. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.